your brother, Brother West, coming back to you again with another word of encouragement uh, today. Um, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, before I start, though, before I start, before I start, as as always, do me a favor. In that right hand corner, push the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed because it's about there's about twenty nine to thirty percent of people who watch me watch my videos who don't subscribe and so. Don't be afraid of me. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. subscribe. Subscribe. And so it'll be a blessing to you. It, it really will. And so uh, push the subscribe button. But not just the subscribe button. There's another thing too that's there. But because when you push the subscribe button, you're going to subscribe. I'll pop up. Uh, well, I'll show up. But when you push the, uh, there's a bell that's, a, that's on the side too. When you push that bell, I'll pop up. That, you so the bell will ring. And so every time I come on, your bell will ring. Is that okay? So do that for me. All right. All right, now this is the message. This is the message, and this is message is is really a testimony. It's a personal testimony, and in this testimony, it's going to highlight, and it's going to be a specific like Rima, Deba, uh, Word of Wisdom, Word of Knowledge, in some of your situations. Because see, what it is that many of you in a situation where it's unfair, you in a situation where it's going to take God. You're in a situation where you need God. You're going, you're going to need God, and you're in a situation where it seems like you're all alone and you're left holding the bags. You're left holding the towels. You're left holding. Uh, you're left holding the residue. You the one that 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 that, that the people. You the one that that so many people look to, and so it, it's so important that your temperament and your mindset is a certain way. See, because what you must realize that your steps are their steps. Uh, what you do is going to determine what they do. So in other words, that when people are watching you, you are the example. And so if you fall, they're going to fall in some cases. And so you don't want it to happen. So I want to encourage you. And how I want to encourage you is God, God allowed me to use me in a, in a way of a personal testimony. And it went like this, is that on May 9th, 2018, my son was paralyzed. He was paralyzed and um, tragic, tragic. And we were there. I was there praying, seeking his face. And then it came a situation where, a, a, a moment where, not everybody can handle the pressure. Not everybody can handle it. Not everybody. And so where, where, where I had a, a little help as far as, you know, with the therapy back and forth and stuff like that or getting ready and stuff like that. But then they went for probably about a year where I had to take my son to therapy back and forth two, three days a week for about a whole year uh, in traffic and then in school after that. Then the next morning back to therapy. And so... And there was times where, you know, I was seeing his progression. I was seeing his growth. I was seeing him grow. I was seeing him getting stronger. But as he was getting stronger, I was getting more tired. I was becoming more worn out. Felt like I was seeing things and that. But but still, I had a push. And I felt like if if, if nobody go, nobody got his back. I got his back because he's mine. That's my seed, and I die helping him. I die, and I felt like I felt like if he can walk, I carry him until he walk. And so. For seven weeks, when he couldn't move his legs, I massaged him for him. I prayed on him. And then, when he started moving his legs, he started on his knees crawling. And so, and I told him, he was worried about me. He said, Pops, I'm just worried about you. I said, I'm all right, son. I said, you know, my my excitement is just seeing you walk. See, because it's in my, I ain't going to let, you know, I'm, I'm in my, I'm, it's myself. He's only 13 years old. He got his life in heaven. And and first of all, the thing that really got me when my son was paralyzed was that, you know, as a prophet, you know, I'm saying to myself, why did I not see it? Why did I see it? And I took it personal, you know. And so, really, it it really, it really got my attention. It really got my attention on who God is, what power is, and how to pull what's out of me. Because for so long, it was like I felt like, in so many ways, concerning ministry and concerning my expression, uh, it felt like. The bulldog, now follow me, not the bulldog in the chain. In the chain, and, and and the bulldog can see other dogs going by free on the other side of the gate. And every day, you know, I see that. It's just an example of the bulldog trying to break that chain but couldn't. Then one day that bulldog said, forget that. Enough is enough. And that bulldog found some strength within and broke them chains. Broke them. And so, I mean, and, and that that's what's happened to me. When, when that happened with my son... Whatever I was holding back, whatever kind of doubt, it became reckless abandon. It became to a place where I didn't care. 
I didn't care. I believe God go heal my son. I don't care what I'm going to say. And say, I don't care what, I, I'm not afraid to say whatever uh, to, to heal my son. And so I was afraid to speak faith. And so what it did, it built my faith up. It built my faith up. And, and so not afraid. And so God worked miracles and, and still working miracles. And the greatest miracle and the great and the completeness of the miracle of my son, the completeness of when he come back this summer, when he come back, that's when it's coming, when it come back. And see, that's a, that's a, a story of the message in that. But with my son, you know, with my son, he was, uh, you know, he was doing good and whatnot, but I was fading. I was fading and tired and stuff like that. Then there came another episode where, uh, there came another episode where at one time there were people that I leaned on, you know, spiritual father, people that I leaned on for counsel when I felt like, you know, I, my mind went right. I felt like my wisdom, I need just a, a second opinion to balance or to weigh my opinion or weigh what I'm feeling. And so I didn't have that. I didn't have that. And so... I ain't know what to do. I'm like, man, God, God. And so I've been to pray, pray hard. And God, God, and God said, hold up. Hold up. What you doing? He, and he said that. Let me tell you something. The same God, the same God that I am in them, the same God, I'm in you. The same God that, that I'm in, uh, uh, my, my, my spiritual father, Apostle Melvin L. Moly, it's the same God in me. And God told me, God told me to look within, dig deep. And so that's what I did. And so when no one's around, no one came around, you know, I, you know, I, I was to myself and, um, I just looked within and I found, I found God. I found the answer. I found him. I found what I needed from, from that, from that, that, that death place of death. God always replenished my heart because I was always worshiping him. I was always praying and worshiping, I still do praying and worship him. That's all I know. And so and so when I do pointing, that's that's a worship too. It's my expression. And so God has blessed me so where I'm able to see words as pictures. And so I'm able to tell the stories. And so that's my offering. And so my message to many of you that you feel like getting up, you feel like it's unfair. Number one, God said he's not putting more on you that you're able to bear, but he'll provide a way of escape. But what God is saying, when you're turning and looking for answers, and you're turning and looking to somebody else to help you or give you give you advice or, or give you wisdom on what to do or how to do it. No, no, no. God is saying, God is saying, dig deep. Don't look at them. Don't look on the outside. Look on the inside. Look within. Look inside yourself, and you'll find your answer. Physician, heal yourself. Just like with Moses. Moses, at, at, the, West, he, at the rest, he turned to God. God said, well, hey, what I gave you already. I, I don't put it in your hand. Stretch, stretch off your rod. Stretch off your rod over that Red Sea and make it and make it pot up. And so that's what God is saying. What's in your hand? Look within, dig deep, stretch forth your hand. And what's in front of you, speak it, declare it, and it'll part its way up. It'll back up. It'll back up. See, because you need to realize and understand there's dominion. There's dominion and there's authority in the mouth of the believer. There is, there is, there is, there is. And everything must come subject. Everything must bow. Everything must bow. So, look within. Dig deep. God bless you. Woo!